Well, good afternoon, folks. We've got a little project going on here in the townhouse garage channel. Today, behind us, we have a freezer that opens the wrong direction. Yeah. So, instead of opening it this way, we want it to open this way. So, I think it's a matter of uh, making a few adjustments here remove the door and put it on the other direction. So, hey, let's try this out. Come in here with me and let's get started. Let's get some tools and uh, take that door off first. Here we go. So it looks like it's a matter of changing out some hinges. The handle would then go here and down here. So we'll pop those little covers out and that should give us a place to put the handle. And we need to take off some covers here, off of that handle, turn it around. Somehow up in here, we're gonna change these hinges around to hinge over here. So let's get after it. Part of the manual, which sometimes we read and sometimes we don't, we need these tools. We need a eight millimeter, a 12 millimeter, an eight millimeter socket, a couple of uh, screwdrivers, flats. I've got a small flat here, a medium flat, and these covers to replace, and these screws. We have to remove this, I think they call it a dongle cover, right here. And I think we have to remove this first. Yep, there's the USB dongle. Okay, is that connection? Now, how does this thing come out of there? There's these little jobbies right here that needs some screwdriver work too. So we're gonna do that, I'll come back. First, I'll pry this out, pop this off. And that looks like the new hinge area right there. So we'll put this aside. I'm able to work that out with a couple screwdrivers. Now we're down to here. Uh -huh. So there is that. I'm gonna have to lay that aside up here. I think, because that will no doubt have to be transferred to the other side somewhere. So let's work on that piece. Let's hope we don't break any of this. Get it out of there, but it seems to come up like that. There we go. Leave that aside. Well, I was able to get that out of there. All these clips inside of there, it's sort of like taking off a door panel of a, a car, if you've ever done that. All the little hidden catches and latches and screws and things, but at least we're down now to, it looks like a bracket here. It's gonna get moved over to here. So let's do that. We don't want the door to fall off yet. somewhat loose. So here's the hinge, top hinge, that came out of here. So I've unplugged this as well, and it has to be moved from here over to there. So let's see how we can do that. Maybe if I can hold the camera here and move it at the same time. There you go. There you go. It's going to have to be changed. I think with the hex on that stud right there, it looks like it should come out and turn over and screw in the bottom. 
Yep, let's go do that. There we go. 10 millimeter. And if it's a regular thread, I'll turn it lefty loosey righty tighty. There we go. Broke loose easy. It has some silicone on it, so it's a little, a little greasy, hard to get a hold of. But it looks like we just turn it around here now, screw it back in. Okay. We have to stab this in to the top of the door, so that will have to stay out. Well, here's a bracket that's gotta come off. So, we have this bracket off of there now. There are three screws. So now we get to move it from the left side of the freezer over to the right side. Let's go see what that takes. Well, we ended up turning it up on its side to do a little surgery. The bracket was there. Now it's there. And if I've done this correctly, that door is ready to hang. Well, so my battery went dead before I um, got it all filmed, but we're switched over now. So these handles are kind of cool. It's actually magnetic around along here. The seal is magnetic. And all this handle does is lever and disconnect that magnet. That's kind of cool. Anyway, yeah. We're uh, we were 55 degrees before we started. We're back down to 25 now. Things are starting to get uh, frozen. My wife came out and rescued a few things. Didn't know how long it was gonna take me. But yeah, got some ice cream in there. Huh. Anyway, I like it. So now, when we walk up to it, after I get my tools off of here, we use this for bringing groceries in and storing our water and things on. So we'll set things here. If it needs to go into the freezer, and we just open the freezer door from here and load it in, right? As opposed to the other way, we would have to set things here, open this the other way, walk around, so I like the way this turned out. It's looking really nice. So one of the next projects I have is to hang that tailgate, but I gotta get it painted first and a long way before that one's ready. Anyway, one more project now. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, or dissent. You've been watching the Townhouse Garage Channel. Good day.